Hey folks, it's Rifgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. You got it. Apparently it takes a while to keep these guys under, under control, it does. There we go, right. We've now got these as big as they should be. So I've got that bit there. Then I need to go back to room over here, kitchen. And that needs to be there. So we've now got a bigger kitchen. Right, the, the kitchen is bigger. And then I've got a canteen over here. That one goes like that. Install at least four cookers. So I need to go back to objects for this one, don't I? And then we've got tables, fridge, sink, cooker right there. At least four cookers. Right. Is that one cooker or is that a double cooker? Am I going to fit four cookers in there? Uh, I haven't got room for all of you yet. It said install at least four cookers. Build this approximately 12 square meters. Well, I've done 12 square meters. And that's not big enough. And these guys in here, what, what are you doing? It's, going, it's all going horribly wrong. I don't like this. It's, it's going horribly wrong. At least four fridges as well. Fridge. I haven't got room to put all of those in there. How am I supposed to fit four fridges and four cookers in there? This <laughs> Look at this. This is a complete and total disaster. What am I... S no! What are you doing? Install two serving tables, at least six tables. Right, I've, well, I've, I've got tables. I can't fit them in there. I'm thinking I've got the dimensions of this a little bit wrong. It's not quite working properly. Let's, let's go like that. Put that one in. There goes the second cooker. No, that's only two cookers. That, I've definitely made a big boo-boo on this. I This is all wrong. Right. Um... I thought I was... Uh, it said 12 square meters. I need more... I need way more than 12 square meters to fit all of that stuff in. It's, it's just not going to... It's, it's not going to have it, is it? Right, we do this. We do that. Am I supposed to be doing approximately 12 meters square? Am I supposed to be doing 12 meters on each side? So it's actually to have the kitchen itself. I do 14 meters on each side. i got to do that. Right, that's what i got to do in order to be able to get this thing to fit. And then I need to go and I need to build the canteen as well. And that one, in order to get that one to fit, is 20 metres on each side. So it's got to be 22 metres for the outside edge. That's completely wrong there. Um, don't do it there. Let's, let's drop down a little bit like this. So we want to go 22 metres there. And then we want to go up and I want to go... Just 21 meters. All right, let's drop that down to 20 meters like that. And then I'll do another two meter section on that bit there like that. Job done. And then I'll go into... Let's start that one working there. And then I will go to walls and doors. I'm going to put a double door on it like that. And you've got a door in here. I'm actually going to bulldoze some of that. I'm going to go bulldoze there, and I'm going to remove that. Remove the door. Something like that, I think. I think that's how we do it. Then I'm going to go to rooms here. How do I remove the fact that it's got a room there? Kitchen. Shower workshop. I don't know how to go about removing the fact that it's a room. I've got that door being removed. And I've got new doors being installed over here. I'm hoping that's going to help. And then we've got a gut tree over here. Right click to cancel. That's going to do... We're going to need to speed it up a little bit now. Just like this. So that's more like it. Look, see I've got the double doors down here. That's going to that's gonna work better. So 20, 20 meters. That's what we needed. Plus, I've removed the door on there. That's gone through. I've got the one door on this bit. Let me do that a second. Slow that down. I'm going to put one more door in there. Oh. That doesn't seem to work. 
can put the door sideways. Oh, yes, I can. I need to do it like that. There. So then we've got the double doors on there. This door over here, I want to... I want to put it that way round. Like that. So I, I'm going to bulldoze that door out of the way. I'm going to clear that door just like that. And then I'm going to go back into objects like this. And I'm going to go to door and rotate it round. So it goes the other direction. That one's going to go in there like that. And then I've got a proper double opening door. That should fit a little bit better. I've then got two cookers down there. I need to get some more cookers. So we'll put two more up here. And then round one there and one there like that. Well, we got those all laid out up there. So what I'm thinking now is we will go back to our room zoning before I do any f uh, do, do anything extra. And I will zone all of that as a kitchen. I don't have a canteen yet. We're going to need that one. Um, actually, no, we, we'll put in the canteen right now. We'll do that like that. And we want to go to staff and we need to hire at least eight cooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cooks in the kitchen. There we go. And optional, improve the canteen. Place a bin in the canteen. Okay, we've done that bit. So now we want to, we'll put some tables in the canteen just to help them. Actually, one of the first things that we ought to do is put some power in here. So if we go to our utilities one over this side, there's the power. Look, we've got all of these other power bits over here. We're going to need to connect the sink to the water mains. And we're going to need power in here anyway. We know that we're going to need that. So if I go electrical cable, and I drop that one in there, and I drop that one in there, that's going to at least help a little, isn't it? Um, How do I get rid of cables? I don't think you do. So I'll drink... Drink? I'll, I'll drag that one over there as well. Now these here looks like we've got to actually join these on like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them like that and then they'll run all the way around straight into those cables like that. That should be pretty good. And we're going to want to also drag that out into the middle in there. Then we're going to go to objects like this and we're going to go to lights and... I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do lights in some of these places. But if I dump a load of them down like this, there, and then over here. I can't put one on there. That bit there, I can't put it. I don't know why. Or is that... Oh! No, I don't need to put lights because they're... The, the lights are done automatically. So I, I can get rid of those. Foundation. All those. Right, if I... That's cancelling the light, isn't it? No, it's not. That's digging the floor up. I don't want you to dig the floor up. Right, well, I'll put the floor, put the floor back a minute. There, now we've got light in that one. But I've added some extra lights on the floor, which I don't want. So how do I get rid of those? It's not rooms, objects. Barbed wire. Oh, sell object. That would probably do it. Right. I've got that one there. What what is this? That's that's in Am I selling the object? There, I guess I could sell that. Hmm. Now I'm just generally confused. Right, let's go let's carry on and do the fridges. I need to put four fridges in here minimum, at least four, and we need to do a kitchen sink. So I'll put one, two, three, and four like that. Then we're going to want a kitchen sink. Let's take you right there. The water supply is over that side. I'm thinking the kitchen sink can go right in there, except it's going to be blocking access to the fridge. So we won't do that. We'll put the sink up there in that corner like that. Uh, place a bin in the kitchen. Where is the bin? The bench, the staff door. The bin right there next to the sink and the fridge. Not very hygienic. Let's put, let's, let's put the bin... Put the bin down there, in that corner. Serving table, two serving tables in here. We'll put 
They can come down this side, actually. If I put the serving tip, which way round do they want to be? That way round. They've got to be like that. There, we'll put serving table there, and we'll put a serving table there, like that. Um, six tables in here. These regular tables like this. We need at least six, though, don't we? So we'll put one and two, and then we'll leave two spaces like that. Go one, two, and then I'll leave... Is that what I did? Yeah, I'll leave two spaces again. One, two, and then go there. One, two, like that. And do the same again. We, we said at least six, but I'm going to just prepare for a few more than that. So if I go like that, I've actually got room, I think, to put some more down here like this. There, so we've got those tables in. Install two benches around each table. Benches. Right, one, two, three... And I was right to leave two. I'm hoping that there's going to be enough room here for everybody to be able to sit down on all of these. Is that enough space for them to get around them? Or do they need more than that? I go there. Like that. Oh, I see. I can just click and drag. Nice. Right. A straight click and drag like that. They, they haven't eaten yet, these poor chaps. Starting to get hungry. I, I do feel for them a bit. I, 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 I Honestly, I do feel for them. Uh, place a bin in the canteen. There. Right. Bin. We won't put... We'll put that one up in that corner up there. I think that's going to be a little bit more hygienic than putting it right next to these. So I think that's the wrong way around. And... Then what do I need? Optional. Improve the canteen floor. Ooh. Flooring. What should we do with it? Should I give them a sand floor? I'm tempted to give them a sand floor just, just because I can. Um... Cargo floor. Walk speed fast, indoor only. Snow. Fancy tiles. White tiles, normal. Tempted to give them a cargo floor. Let's try this. I don't know what it's going to be like, but we'll try it. How heavy is... How expensive is this going to be? There we go. A beautiful and perfect floor. And then you, you're going to have white tiles in here. Run that down there. And I'm also going to need to go back to utilities. They're not done yet. And then we also we, we need some water. So we want to go large pipe. That's got to go. Actually, that's going to go there. It's going to go like that to that point. And I'll put one under there. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it like that or not. I've, I've no idea, actually. And then you out that side. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. I can certainly do that. That might help. Place a bin in the canteen. I've done that. Optional improve the floor. Optional improve the kitchen floor. I've set that one. Connect the sink to the water mains, which is now happening. So I go like this. We'll let that speed up a bit. Take it off of utilities. And we've got all the flooring going in. We've got the benches in. We've got those serving trays put in as well. The f yeah, the floor's going in quite nice. And power line here. We haven't got the power line in yet. We're waiting on that. And we're also waiting on the large pipes to come in. There's a lot of bacon in here. I'm loving this bacon. I'm loving the fact we've got all this bacon here. These lights here. We don't need those lights. How do I get rid of them? Objects, sell object. It hasn't sold the lights. Should be selling them. I don't want those lights there. Go to that. You're busy doing that bit. and we, Well, no, we've got power in the fridges now. That's all working. The only thing I'm waiting on is that bit right there. And I've now got water to the sink. Or I should have. Yes. Aha. I've done it. I have succeeded. I have been awesome. I, I, I've done awesome. I has done awesome. You would not believe what I've just been told. What? That I'm awesome? Uh-oh. Bad stuff going down. <gasps> Something in the Tatey Pose. Our guys were dumping some of the old foodstuffs. They discovered packs of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the crates. Well, that's not good. 
We'd suspected the Palermo family of smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we'd never been able to determine how. This might be what the conversation earlier was all about. Some days it just doesn't it doesn't just rain, it pours. Indeed. Indeed it does. Oh, here we go. Don Victor Palermo, boss of one of the East Coast's most feared mob families. The Palermos eluded the FBI for decades. Anthony Palermo, the Don's eldest son and natural heir, ran the day-to-day -day operations. Nico Tamaretti wasn't a made man, but was welcomed into the family, uh, welcomed into the family business when he married the Don's only daughter, Vitalia. And Sonny Palermo, the Don's second son, the runt of the litter, temper like a pit bull and only half as smart. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> I love it. Temper like a pit bull and only half as smart. That is fantastic. Their empire ran a narcotics trade from Maine to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in a flagrante delic de delic de delicto. Fle flagrante delicto. Something like that. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, to be honest. Shot dead by a jealous husband. And... This goes back to our last one. It was the, the same jealous husband. Unfortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncut cocaine in Anthony's sports bag. And the evidence led straight to the top. In they come. There's more bad stuff going down here. Right, so we're arresting everybody. We're not happy. Overnight, everything the Palermo family had built up crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they'd all rot in jail. Ciao, darlings. Off you go. Which leaves Vitalia, the Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. We don't know much about her, other than she was always kept outside the family business. But somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. There's some serious stuff going on here. We could have quite a serious narcotics problems on our hand, uh, a narcotics problem on our hands here, but we can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up and running. Our chefs will work on preparing food for everyone, which should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clearly deliberate, and we don't want a repeat of that. Install a sprinkler system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water mains. All prisoners have needs. Those needs directly impact how your prisoners behave. Right now, everyone is starving hungry, and that's what all the shouting has been about. Food is one of their highest priority needs, and if you ignore it at your peril, a prison is just a few failed meals away from a wall-to-wall -wall riot. You can monitor the needs of all your prisoners from the needs report, which you can normally access through the reports icon in the bottom of the right. In, in the bottom right. Uh, no, that says skip. Oh, here we go. Ooh, new stuff. This report shows the combined needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this particular need not being met. As you'd expect, food is red for virtually everyone. But these prisoners are also very bored. Recreation is needed. And the prison is in a pretty shabby state, which is reflected in their environment and clothing needs. It's your decision, as a resident prison architect, which needs you will try to attend to first. You can install televisions in their cells to keep them occupied and hire some janitors to clean the place up. Or you can just ignore your prisoners' needs altogether and rely on brute force to keep your prison under control. I'll leave it up to you. So, are we going to be the sort that just relies on brute force, or are we going to be the sort that actually allows them to um, have a little bit of comfort? So, hygiene is not great. 25 prisoner furious that they can't meet this need. Environment, warmth, privacy. Nobody's got any privacy. 38 prisoners have this need. Um, clothing. 67 prisoners desperately need this fulfilled. Many prisoners have problems with drug addiction. It might even be why they're in prison in the first place. You can help treat this problem by running a drug treatment program in your infirmary. Right, so food is top of the list. We, we've got to deal with food. And then we can sort of start to work through it. 
We need. To, let, let me just uh, pause things a second. Uh, we need to install a new sprinkler system. Install a couple of sprinklers in the kitchen, the canteen. Connect them up to the water. Optional. Take care of your inmates' needs. Handle food needs. Handle recreational needs. Handle the environmental needs. So he said about hiring some janitors to clean things up, and also. Wait, what do we got here? Guard response, shakedown, lockdown, bang up, roll call, tunnel search, and then reports. We've got all of it down here. We've got everything that we could possibly need. Recreation right here. A board prisoner is a dangerous prisoner. You can see to a prisoner's need for recreation by adding pastimes to the common area of your prison, such as TVs or radios. Common area of your prison. Or we can put TVs in their cells. Can't we? Isn't that another thing that we can do? We can put a television in every single person's cell. I don't know. Let's let's see if we can do that a minute. So we want to go to objects, I guess. Sprinkler, radio, TV. Okay, is there a fast way to do this, or do you just simply have to? Would probably help if he's able to look at the TV, I suppose. Let's put a TV in everyone's cell. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to let them all have a television. Right? We're not going to try to force their um, return to civilized society by treating them like animals. If we want these people to actually reform and uh, return to society changed citizens, then we need to treat them like citizens and not treat them like animals. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go along here and we're going to give them all a television so that they're not bored. I go all the way up through there, like that, and then I'm going to spin that bad boy around like that, and we're going to run along here, we're going to put another television cell in ev a television cell. We can put a television in every cell like that. Obviously, there'd be repercussions if they go and break their TV. Now, this, that is bad, t that, honestly, that is a bad cell design. Why would you put the poor prisoner's head right next to the toilet bowl? You want to put the toilet over there. Give him a little bit more privacy. I, I don't like that. Anyway, it's just, we, we'll put this one nearer the bed so they you know, they can at least see it. It'll help. So I'll run up through here like that. And I'll do the same on this side. I'll put them near the bed over here. And there. Right, that's that one done. And I got another one over here. Exactly the same thing. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, that's the sprinkler system. Let's put more TVs in. There. Every single cell. So they're not going to have to share a TV. They've got their own private TV. There. Again, with the toilet near the, the, the bed. Seems a little bit... It... it, it just doesn't seem like the right place to go and put the toilet, really. Not to my mind. But then, that's, that's, that's how this one's laid out. If we ever design our own prison, then maybe we'll do things a little bit different. Let's go trotting along this way, like that. There, and one there, and one there. So that's all of those, and... Install TV. That's queued. Right, I've been round, and I've requested televisions be put in all of them. So what's this? This is the holding cell. Hmm. I'm going to put a couple of these in here, in the holding cell. Like, we've got benches along there for them to sit on. Put one there. I'll put one there. And I'll put one there. They don't watch them from in bed, they'll watch them from down there. Is that the right way around? Yes, that is the right way around. Okay, so that's in the holding cell as well. And... I'm looking through. I don't see anywhere else that we want to do this. Handle the environmental needs of your prisoner. So next up for handling environmental needs, we want some janitors, don't we? Keep things tidy. So we'll put... I'll put a janitor in there. Put one in there. One there. You know, honestly, janitorial work, I thought, would be done by the prisoners themselves. That's normally what happens in the UK prisons, as far as I know. So I'm surprised it doesn't happen here. Well, who, who we'd argue. Right, so I've done that bit. Handle the food needs, handle the recreational needs, handle the environmental needs. 
That might be all right. I mean, I may need to do more janitors. We'll we'll wait and see on that front. I've got five janitors coming in. I now need to do... Well, that's going to be utilities, isn't it, for a sprinkler system? Pipe valve... No, it's not. So where's the... Where, uh, emergencies? Call in emergencies. No, I don't want to call in anyone. Rooms, objects, sprinklers. There we go. Right, uh, install a couple of sprinklers. I reckon we're probably going to need more than a couple. Let's, let's see now how we're going to do this. I'll put one here. Put one here. One here and one here. Right, so I've, I've put four of them in there. I'm going to do one here. I'm going to do one in the middle. And I'm do one over here. That's three in from the edge. That's three in from the edge as well. I'll put one there. So we'll go all the way down here. One like that and one like that. And then there was one in the middle somewhere. I don't even know where I put that one in the middle. It was there, I think. So let's try that. And something like this, I think. I think. Right. I need to press play now. We'll, we'll let them carry on and do what they're going to do. So handle environmental needs is 41, 42. That's going up. That's the janitors are busy doing all of their stuff in it. And look here, you can see janitors are very busy janitoring. They're doing janitorial work. It looks like... Oh, I see. No, look. They're, they're running around and they're cleaning. This place is disgusting. Honestly, this place is an absolute pigsty. Genuinely disgusting all the way through. These janitors have got their work cut out. They really do. Uh, there is a lot of janitorial work that is going to need to be done. Where are all those janitors? I picked up five of them. Picked up five of those bad boys. And here we've got the TVs coming in. This is good. Television's coming in. Let's, let's speed it up a little bit. He's busy cleaning the shower block. There's two of them there cleaning the shower block. And there go all. We've got a load of new TVs coming in. I bet they'll be pleased about that. Straight in the showers. Look, we're, we're busy cleaning the showers. Okay. Yeah, we're, uh, everybody's everybody's in, in the showers there we're with the janitors, the, the poor janitors. So there are things there that they did not intend to see. There are things there that they absolutely did not want to see. Right, I need to connect the sprinklers to the water system. So we need to go to utilities like this. And I need to go to... Wood. Put in a large pipe like this, I guess. And then... Like that, is it? I don't really know how I'm supposed to do the rest of it. So I'm just going to put it like that for a minute. And see how it goes. Environmental is 65% there. The recreational needs are 28%. But I have got... A television requested for every single cell. Which I'm hoping is going to make a big difference. So where else have we got? We've got those. I've got the yard out here. You're not going to put a TV outside in the yard, are you? So what about radio in the yard? Would that help? Is that sort of a thing that we want to do? What's in here? Chief's office, foreman's office, psychologist office. Firmary is absolutely revolting. Everywhere in here is pretty disgusting. But the TVs are going in. They're, they're, they're doing... Absolutely great. We haven't got all of the televisions in yet, but they are coming along quite nicely now. Where are they? There they are. And that's that's the sprinkler right there. So I've got... Oh, that's still installation in progress. And I'm still waiting for some pipes to be installed as well. So once all of these pipes are actually put in, then we'll be okay. Let's, let's speed that up a little bit faster then. And I want to go back into utilities... I want to take my pipes like this. I still need to wait for them to finish. Right, there's those. Do I do I just put small pipes in then? Oh, I only need small pipes. I only need to do small pipes with this. I run that one like that. And that one like that. And then you there. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.